So here is some practice problems with percent yield. I'm just going to pull these straight out of the back of the book. Um, starting on page 934, we're going to do numbers 224 and 226. 226 was from your homework, but 224 was just one that I kind of randomly picked out. Um, so pause this, work these out, and then hit play, and you'll be able to see me work them out. Keep in mind, I work these out straight through you know, not taking any time to figure out molar masses or do the calculations or anything like that because I've already got them all done. It's just to conserve time. Um, so pause this, figure it out, and then hit play and see me work it out. So 224 is talking about the production of carbon tetrachloride, um, which was a pretty nice little compound before they figured out, you know, that it caused cancer. So this is the equation for the production of carbon tetrachloride. Kind of nice thing is they figured out too that this particular compound, disulfur dichloride, is a good starting uh, compound to use in the production of like rubber and plastics and and thing you know other polymer type of materials. Okay, so the first question says that pick another color. You have 410 kilograms of this carbon disulfide. And uh, you are going to produce 710 or 19, 719 kilograms of the carbon tetrachloride. So 719 kilograms. And they want to know what's the percent yield. So since we weren't given an amount of chlorine, that means we get to ex assume that it is in excess. So we don't have to calculate. <laughs> one too many S's there. Sorry. Don't have to calculate limiting reactant. So we can just start our stoichiometry with our CS2. So that looks like this. Start with your 410 kilograms, CS2. First thing we gotta do, molar masses aren't in kilograms, they're in grams. So we gotta convert this to grams. So every kilogram has 1,000 grams in it. Now the molar mass of CS2, which is 76.15 grams. Whoa. Oh, for crying out loud. Hang on, I gotta fix that. I love it when that happens. Okay, uh, CS2. And then looking up here at our mole ratio, it's a one to one ratio. And molar mass of carbon tetrachloride is 153.81 grams. But again, our final answer is in kilograms, so we have to convert this back to kilograms. So now we get to cross out uh, kilograms, kilograms, grams, grams, moles, moles CS2, moles and moles, grams again, we're left in kilograms. Number wise, we get to cross out that thousand grams because they cancel each other out. So then you plug this into your nice little calculator and you get 828 kilograms of the CCL4. And remember, this is calculated, so that means this is your theoretical yield. So to find your percent yield, um, I kind of taught you the whole formula of uh, actual yield over theoretical yield times 100 equals percent yield. It might be easier if you think of this as a proportion. So if you say actual yield over theoretical yield equals the percent yield over 100 and then you know whichever one of these four well three because that will never be an X whichever one of these three is unknown you can just real simply rearrange this and solve for that unknown so that's what we're gonna do right now our actual yield was the number given to us in the question the 719 kilograms our theoretical yield over here 828 kilograms equals our percent yield is our X over 100 and simply solve for x. So you plug them in your calculator and x equals 86.8 percent. Alright, the next one that we are going to do is B. Get all these deleted. And B says that we have 67.5 grams of chlorine and 39.5 grams of S2Cl2 are produced. Oh, five, not four. 
sorry. And they just want to know what's the percent yield. So again, exact same thing, just dealing with the other reactant and the other product. So starting with your stoichiometry to calculate your theoretical yield. Oh, kind of a wavy line there. First up, molar mass. Then once we're in moles, we get to use our mole ratio, which this time is 3 to 1. So 3 moles Cl2 to every 1 mole S2Cl2. And then each mole S2Cl2 has a mass of 135.04 grams. Plug that into a calculator and you get 42.9. Oh, it's doing it again. I don't know why it does that. 42.9 grams S2Cl2. So this again, that's our theoretical yield. Our actual yield was 39.5. So 39.5 divided by 42.9 equals X over 100. X equals 92.1%. All right, now for C, get this erased. Uh, C says, they give us the percent yield, they say that the percentage is 83.3%. They tell us that they want to know how many grams of CS2 should be reacted to obtain 5 times 10 to the 4, so I'm just going to put 5E4, kilograms of CCL4, and then they also want to know how much of this is going to be produced as well. So when you're given your, this is your actual yield, because this is how much was actually produced, and you've got your percent yield. And they want to know how much reactant you're going with. Well, this means you're going to have to do things completely backwards. So we're actually going to start right here with your percent yield. So actual yield, 5E4 kilograms, divided by theoretical yield, which we don't know, is equal to 83.3 over 100. So you work that out. Theoretical yield on this one is equal to 6 E times 10 to the 4 kilograms CCL4. And one more time, the reason I did this was because they gave me my actual yield and they are asking for how much reactant I start with. So in that case, you first have to calculate your theoretical yield because you cannot do stoichiometry with an actual yield. You can only do stoichiometry with theoretical yields. So now I'm going to take this number right here. And I'm going to convert it to CS2. And that looks like this. First convert to grams, then convert to moles. Then mole ratio. And then molar mass of our reactant. Plug this into your super cool calculator. Oh, yeah. Sorry, forgot. we got to convert back to kilograms. That way, this guy cancels out this guy. And you end up with 2.97 times 10 to the 4 kilograms of CS2. So this is how much reactant you need to start with. The other part of the question was, how much of this product are you also going to produce? You can do this one of two ways. You can take this number that you just calculated, plug it into the stoichiometry, you know, get all the way to the S2Cl2 and then use your 83.3% yield to calculate that. Or, much easier, just use whatever you produce of this product is going to be equivalent to what you produce of this product. So simply do a mass to mass stoichiometry of actual yield of product to actual yield of other product. This is the only time that you can plug in an actual yield into stoichiometry. So that looks like this.
5E4 kilograms of CCL4. Oh, that's so going to get jacked up. Let me fix that. I'm going to erase some stuff here just so we got some more room to work. Okay, so starting over up here. 5E4 kilograms CCL4. First, go to grams. Then molar mass. Mole ratio. And then molar mass of this guy. Where'd he go? 